Hi and welcome to this reading. Today, my name is Shalita. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about magical consciousness. And today, we're going to be diving into the energy of this new moon as well a message meant to find you in this present moment. You know, take how it resonates, leave what doesn't behind. You know the vibes. If you're watching right now this message was meant to find you in this present moment it was divinely guided to you and i just want to shine some light some clarity onto the current energies that we have been experiencing over the last weeks months or so and here it is we're going to be diving in we've got some palo santo definitely clear your energy clear your space and we're going to be diving into the energies and the messages that first i intuitively felt and then we're going to as well shuffle some more cards. I already have all my cards laid out in front of me. And I already picked some cards feeling into the energy. So let's dive in. So for this new moon, we're currently dealing with a new moon in Scorpio. But like I said, whenever you receive this, it was meant to find you. And the messages that have been coming out over the last weeks, like over and over again, have been about strength, uh, determination, perseverance, overcoming... Kind of like this this finish line energy uh almost there <laughs> almost at the finish line you know keep going continue on it's happening um and then for this new moon in scorpio i was feeling of this this really like obviously scorpio is intense but really this intense focus on in intentionality intentionality i think that's the word being intentional a really intense focus on what is your intention? Where are you putting your energy? How are you using your time? How are you using, <laughs> you know, like your creative energy that is flowing through you? Are you putting it into places and people where it's just either short-term gratification or it's just not lasting? Or are you actually putting this into things that are intentional or purposeful, living with purpose? And all these cards were coming out of of these dark like topics <laughs> and i was just like oh my god so yeah intentional the question for you today the reflection of this new moon is are you being intentional with the things that you're consuming with the places you visit and with the people you surround yourself with if not it's time to reflect and it's time to see what is meant to leave your life for you to step into a life that is more intentional and purposeful and if you're already living a life of intentionality and of purpose this relationship can be deepened and deepened and deepened the depth of intentionality is endless and as well we always can learn to be more purposeful with our reality to be more intentional with the things we're consuming and so those energies were coming through and so obviously with the new moon we have a new start is coming and that's what i was feeling like this conclusion this things like coming to a conclusion and a new beginning can start and this new beginning is going to focus on intentionality where am i putting my focus and attention because it's sacred and i should honor it and i should be aware of the fact that where I focus on, that's where I create more of. And so that's very important. And so with the new moon in Scorpio, we have work through your fears. Working through the limitations, working through the things that are seemingly, you know, like more dark, um, hidden, like far away, stored within us. Working through those uncomfortable uncomfortable things because when I was shuffling these cards I was like I was getting uncomfortable I was like no 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 not all these all these crazy ass cards are coming out from the tarot deck like we got the death card the tower the three of swords the seven of swords I was like okay but then I realized I was like this is a sign that those experiences happen because of our attention where, where we're putting our energy and our attention for us to create these type of experiences and then i as well felt called to grab this one it's time to release negativity the full moon is scorpio 
because that's what I feel majorly here is like this new cycle will be about releasing negativity and fears for you to be able to have a deeper relationship with yourself and the things that you create in your reality having a deeper relationship with the people around you with the food that you're consuming with the environments that you create your sacred space you know your room your home your friendships because we had the king of cups as the energy for this new one what says always compose yourself before giving a response this is talking about emotional maturity about being emotionally stable and knowing when to act and when to just watch when to give or when to receive when to speak or when to be silent and i feel here as well the intentionality with like this cup right here and like being in your space that was just really a confirmation with this king of cups coming through what is a water sign <laughs> what is a scorpio um to be intentional and that's this new moon and so i know i know for myself as well that we can be like um not wanting to grow because we're like no i am being very intentional but it's just actually being uncomfortable with the fact that yes even those who are already on this path, even me, I can do better. And I can be more intentional with my time, with how I spend my life and what I consume and how I consume it and how I treat myself and my body and how I speak to myself. And so there was this mental energy coming through, like thoughts of, of mindset, of where are our thoughts at where is our mind at what is our perspective about things is this perspective supportive of the life we are trying and choosing to create so we're going to shuffle some more cards i want to get one more tarot card okay so i said one card but we got some more coming up but i want to take them all so let's see we got the Page of Pentacles. When life gives you lemons, make enchanted lemonade. Yes. You know, looking at the bright side, what can we do with what we're being offered right now? You know, sometimes we're in experiences that we're like, what am I supposed to do with this? How can you turn it into something that is supportive of the life you're looking to create? So we got the Two of Wands. Your decisions decide your future, nothing else. We got, oh, let me show you. <laughs> Beautiful. We got the Hermit, number nine. There are some things that must be done on your own. Yeah, definitely. This has been this, this Scorpio season. <laughs> the Scorpio season, this new moon in Scorpio, it has been all about like learning lessons. Um, and these lessons can only be learned by yourself, with yourself through going through experiences of choices you've made in the past and now you're here with the consequences of these choices and you know what can we learn from it and then we have the queen of cups so we had the king of cups the queen of cups coming through and it says honoring your emotions is one of the highest forms of self-care i love that honoring your emotions honoring yourself and then we have the seven of swords this card wants to keep coming out are your actions really as uh, hold up let me start again are your actions really as selfless as you think that's that's that reflection that's that awareness right there of actions because we got this card where she's having her shoe and with a spider that she's about to kill even though the spider is harmless some spiders are not but yeah <laughs> Um, so that's, those are the messages for this this new moon in Scorpio that the power you hold because you are really powerful and your choices have a lot of power and they create your reality the choices you make in this very moment are the reality that you will be living next 
And so it's just really this energy of reflecting on like, okay, how am I treating things here? How am I treating my emotions, my thoughts, my environment, the people around me, things I'm consuming? And is it negative? Is it positive? Is it uplifting? Is it supportive of my health, of my healing? Or is it actually stunting my growth? Is it actually holding me back from pursuing who I want to be? Is it dimming my light or is it allowing me to connect even deeper with my light? So do I want to get some more? Hmm. Yeah, so we got the moon. We got temperance. Oh, wow. We got a lot of beautiful energy here. So yeah, the energy here is the moon. We got the moon coming through. It's a confirmation of, you know, the moon. We're talking about the moon right here. And with the moon coming through, this is talking about things under the service that are now arising for you to notice and heal through. Definitely because we've got the temperance card here as well. This is healing. This is balance. This is harmony. Creating balance in your reality. Return, the return of balance and harmony. And that's a choice. <laughs> because we've got the lovers. And that's definitely talking about choice here. So yeah, that is beautiful. That's just confirmation right there. I'm going to put these all over here. And there is this energy as well coming through of like material success starts with a spiritual and acknowledging that everything you create in the physical realm started with energy that's actually a true success how you're harnessing <laughs> whatever harnessing your energy and how you're honoring your energy that is literally the reflection of your reality how you're experiencing your reality started within you started with the energy that is you and then you will be living a certain reality and creating your reality like you are the creator of your reality and it starts with energy and if the energies go off how can we shift subtle things to it being in alignment with who we are because if things are not in alignment with who we are then it's time to choose something different to choose something new to try something new so let's see some last messages for this new moon in Scorpio. For the beautiful person watching, the energy. Take care of your well-being. Take care of your needs. Allow yourself to honor your space. To not underestimate the power of making subtle shifts in your lifestyle. In the way you treat things the way you think about things it's just subtle things but those subtle things will be a long-term manifestation cart fell on the ground <laughs> we gotta bring love into the situation bring more love into your reality to release negativity like it said in that one cart to bring more love into things and to see how you could certain situations you might be experiencing you might think like this is this is not love this is not loving okay how can we be the love in this situation and we got show the world the real you we got twice aquarius coming through show the world the real you like allowing your authenticity to shine through your unique self to to not be afraid of it <laughs> definitely don't let your fears hold you back um don't let your fear stop you from really feeling into who you really are because who you really are that's like really magical so we got a win-win outcome is forecast that's that balance right there with the libra and like i talked about mental like the the air energy like the air signs are really present so we got new moon new start is coming i want to get some more just some more final messages for this new moon so at the end <laughs> it will work out it will work out even if it doesn't seem like that at all we got your commitment is being tested that's definitely the energy i've been noticing in all my readings lately like commitment a test of commitment a, a test of will you choose to continue will you choose to make it happen we got super moon emotions are running high so yeah that's the king of cups right there uh, that was talking about, you know, composing yourself and to not let emotions rule your actions, but to let clarity rule your actions. Yes, definitely. Let's get one more. Let's get one more for this new moon. This 
new moon. Your hard work is paying off with nothing will come of this situation and don't let your past hold you back. I feel like with that, it's like, I guess this well-being coming through like this energy of like things seemingly seeming way worse than they actually are and that what you feared would happen is like totally not what will happen <laughs> it's like that's what the, the liberal energy like a win-win uh outcome is for guests it's like you might assume the worst and that's the mental thing of like stop assuming the worst start assuming your desired outcome <laughs> that's it that, that will need this energy so don't let your past will do back don't let how things happen in the past determine how things will go going forward in this new beginning and i love this this is really beautiful let me know how it resonates let me know how you're experiencing this new moon what energies are you feeling what is happening in your reality you know let me know because maybe then i understand well my reading go the way they go like they're all talking about perseverance um so thank you so much for tuning in if you want to like subscribe to the channel that would be so amazing and i wish you such a beautiful day today bye